Today we're going to talk about the practicality in my personal experience mining cryptos with solar power. We're going to talk about grid tie systems and off grid systems and some of my numbers. We're also going to talk about cooling costs and how I do that with solar power as well. So first let's walk around my place and I'll show you my mining rigs. So first off we have an ASIC miner and this thing is ridiculously loud. And this runs 24 hours a day and it's connected to my grid tie solar power system. And this unit pulls 3,250 watts continuous. And multiplied by 24 hours, we get 78 kilowatt hours a day. In my grid tie system, which is 16.32 kilowatts, it actually produces 80 to 100 kilowatt hours a day. So this consumes pretty much all of my power. There's a little bit of excess for air conditioning, but yeah, this is it. But keep in mind that this is powered by the grid. Even though it's free for me to run because I have a massive solar power system on my house, this is being powered at night from the grid. But it produces a lot of money. It produces about $840 every single month. But the big downside is these are very loud and they produce lots of heat. So I do not recommend powering this with solar unless you have a grid tie system. If you have net metering and you have a large solar panel array, this will absolutely pay for itself and the payback period on your grid tie system will be reduced to like half the time. Another downside of these ASIC miners is they cost a lot of money, but the payback period is one to two years, even when they're extremely expensive. So this unit is called the S19 by Ant Miner, and it cost me $12,000, but I expect to make my money back in about 15 months. And that's with electricity costs included with my solar power system. And I do not plan to have this miner here for long. I'm gonna buy a new house in Washington State next to a hydroelectric dam, and I'm gonna fill it with these ASIC miners because out here in Las Vegas it's just too hard to power these especially with the heat there is just so much heat that is produced by this system it's awful also you can get pretty creative with time of use I have this wired up to a wireless Wi-Fi timer switch so I can run this at different hours of the day um, because I'm on net metering and because electricity is relatively cheap out here especially for how much I'm making with this it still produces a lot of money so even if you were to power this completely off the grid you're gonna be making money from day one but it's not for everybody also keep in mind that these are practically screaming all day long they are so ridiculously loud that you have to have them in other buildings um, for my workshop and heating it during the winter it seems to be perfect but we're gonna test it this winter for that purpose. Now this is my air conditioner for pumping all of the heat out of my workshop. These miners produce a lot of heat, especially out here in Las Vegas when it's 120 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So you have to pump that outside and that costs electricity as well. But it doesn't take that much electricity, especially if you have a high efficiency mini split system. But if you live in California and you have time of use and you're pumping a lot of heat out at peak rates, um, you might get screwed over with crypto mining so it might not be for you but for most people in the United States you're always going to be making a profit even if you have to pump this heat out manually. Now this is my off-grid solar power system we have 10,000 watts of solar we now have 49.3 kilowatt hours of battery storage with lithium iron phosphate cells and this system produces 50 to 55 kilowatt hours a day and it charges my Tesla and it runs a GPU mining rig. And these mining rigs are dead simple. They literally require no thinking at all. It's just a computer. So you just have a motherboard, power supply, CPU, and then you stack up the GPUs on top. Literally anybody can build these. And this rig is running a 3070 and a 3080, but I do not recommend these GPUs for off-grid solar mining. I'm gonna be switching to 6600 XTs, and those are much more efficient than these. But in its current configuration, it produces six to seven dollars every single day. And this system pulls about 600 watts nonstop all day long which is only 14.4 kilowatt hours a day. And this off-grid solar power system produces 50 kilowatt hours a day. So I can comfortably run an air conditioner, my Tesla, and do GPU mining with this off-grid solar power system. And these mining rigs are dead simple. You can build one in about two hours. Everything is plug and play. So yeah, I can't believe how many YouTube channels there are on these things when it's so easy. You literally just put it together. And don't let the wires intimidate you. This is just a basic boring computer with a 
mining motherboard. You just plug in all of these power cables where it needs power and that's it. You'll be up and running in less than two hours. These are so simple and I can't believe how many videos are made about them on YouTube. Honestly, it's unnecessary. Just plug it together and then fire it up. Now, in my opinion, I think GPU miners are the best for off-grid solar only if you have an efficient card. I'm gonna be swapping out these cards for 6600 XTs and those use about half the power. So I'm gonna use about seven kilowatt hours a day and produce about $8. So that's pretty darn good. And every year that system will produce $2,888. And this system powers my Tesla. So if you factor in the gas savings and cryptocurrency mining, the payback period on this thing is only a few years, even if electricity is dirt cheap. So yeah, this thing is producing a lot of money for me and it will pay for itself very soon. And if you build with grade B packs and you use used solar panels and you're doing only crypto mining, you can make back your money in like what, two, maybe one year. And every single dollar moving forward after that point is pure profit. All right, let's go inside my house and I'll show you my other mining rigs. Guys, look at, she's getting bigger. She was so small in the last video. Look at how big she is now. So anyways, so these are my video editing computers. That's my old one, and this is my newest build. And each one has a 3090 graphics card, and each one produces $7 a day. And both of these computers act as heaters in my home. They reduce the heating costs during the winter. And even though the 3090 is pretty expensive, it's pretty efficient. If I wasn't gonna be running 6600 XTs out there in the shop, I would be running 3090s. But these cards cost $3,000 each. So expect like 15 months for a payback period. And these computers produce a lot of heat. It's crazy. So a few weeks ago, I installed another mini split air conditioner. This is the fifth air conditioner I have for this house. And this thing is super efficient and I like it a lot more than the Pioneer air conditioner that I have powering the workshop. This thing took half the time to install and it works really well. It has Wi-Fi connectivity and lots of other cool features. So yeah, I'm gonna put these on my website. I do like this. This is a great brand. And this is the air conditioner. I actually bought the 120 volt model and it does 12,000 BTU. But the only thing I dislike about this one is because it has pre-charged lines, you have to coil them on the side of the unit and it looks pretty ugly. And you have to lay them out horizontally so that the oil does not pool in them. Um, besides that, the install was so much easier than the other mini split. So yeah, highly recommend this thing, especially for crypto mining. This thing is so efficient that it's worth its weight in gold. And I run this thing 24 hours a day. I have it off right now because I'm filming. But yeah, this thing's awesome. And honestly, I couldn't do crypto mining without these mini splits. These things reduce my bill so much and this has a reversible cycle. So this is also a heater during the winter. And I actually powered this with my AC 300 because it's 120 volt. I just have this connected to an extension cord. I know some people will dislike that and it's temporary, but it's nice to be able to test my solar generators with a full size air conditioner. And the AC 300 ran it like a champ. So currently these mining rigs are generating about $49 every single day of purely passive income. I'm also not going to sell my cryptocurrency because I would be taxed heavily um, and I keep it on wallets that I'm not going to touch for the next 10 to 20 years. So in about a month I'm going to make a new video about my new GPU mining rig and I'll actually have some really good figures on that one. That one will be much much more efficient than my current GPU mining rig and it should make some good money. Now let's talk about a theoretical situation. If you have an off-grid solar power system powering a mining rig, you're pretty much creating money out of thin air. And you can fill up a wallet and go to another country and spend it, and I don't think it would be a taxable event. I'm not saying you should do this, I'm sure the government's watching everything on YouTube, but theoretically you could probably get away with it if you know what I mean. Not saying I'm gonna do that or anything, but yeah, you know, you, you can get pretty creative with this stuff, can't ya? And that's pretty much it for this video. If you disagree with any point that I stated or anything that I'm doing, please let me know in the comments section below. I posted a lot of my opinions in this video, so I would love for you guys to challenge them. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon and I hope you guys like the video. Bye.